so just at the start of August guys uh, Jordan Brand was bringing us this uh, black toe release which in my opinion it's one of the best releases for a pair of uh, Jordan 1 low uh, for the entire year and now uh, just at the start of uh, October at least here in the UK we got a release of the Air Jordan 1 low which will have the same uh, color blocking but uh, slightly a bit different guys and welcome back for a brand new review if you are new to the channel guys please consider subscribing to the channel you can also give me a like at the end of the video it will really help out the channel a lot of course you can also give me a follow on instagram and tiktok to see exactly what i'm gonna review in the next few days in today's video guys we're gonna have a look at one of the latest releases for a pair of jordan 1 low so let's go ahead and take them out of the box guys which as you can see will come in one of your regular uh, boxes in this uh, black color which will have the jumpman logo in this gold color here on top so let's go ahead and take them out guys so in today's video we're gonna have a look at this very nice uh, pair of uh, jordan 1 low in this varsity red colorway As I said earlier guys back in August we got that uh, black toe um, Jordan 1 low which in my opinion is one of the best releases for the entire year and that one as it was an OG colorway it was also bringing uh, quite good materials uh, which is uh, something usual but now in October guys uh, Jordan brand decided to bring us something uh, very close to that uh, colorway for this uh, varsity red uh, colorway which just uh, dropped uh, here for the retail price of 120 pounds but as this one will be a general release uh, for sure you already know that we're gonna receive those uh, stiff materials and this uh, extra color section which most definitely at least for me as I have a skinny fit it bothers my ankle section a lot but rather than that uh, most definitely this is very close to that uh, OG colorway in this red white and uh, black color which for sure is one of the best color combinations at least for a pair of Jordan 1s so let's go ahead and also do a breakdown of this one guys so as you can see for this upper we're gonna have this synthetic leather material which will come in three colors one of it will be in this black color which will cover the front part of the tobo section and this one will also be present here at the lacing system and also covering the whole ankle section as well and this one will also be present here in the midfoot for this Nike sushes. But coming back at the front of the shoe covering the top part of the tobo section, we're gonna have this synthetic leather in this red color, which unfortunately will be quite stiff, but this will be the case for most of this upper. So this uh, tobo section will still have your perforation holes, which will give it some breathability. And this red leather material guys will also be present here at the back covering the whole heel section where on top of it we're gonna have this wings logo embroidered in this white color continue now at the lacing system for this one we're gonna have your normal punch out holes which will keep in place this uh, black uh, flat laces and underneath these laces we're gonna have your normal nylon tongue which will be in this uh, black color and this one also have the jumpman logo embroidered here at the top of the tongue in this red color continue now in the midfoot guys uh, you can see that uh, on each side we're gonna have these uh, white panels which on top will have this Nike sushes in this black color going now inside of the shoe guys for this one you're gonna have your normal lining which underneath will have your normal amount of padding so nothing special here and as usual at the bottom we're gonna have a foam insole which this time will be in this black color and here at the heel section we're gonna have this Jumpman logo imprinted in this red color one thing which I will need to add guys is that for these general releases we're gonna have this extended ankle section 
which at least for me as a have with skinny feet it really bothers that section so uh, for me at least uh, the only way to uh, fix this issue is to put an extra insole but in order to put that extra insole for sure uh, you'll need to go with a half size up just to make sure that after putting the insole you'll have enough from inside so now guys we can go to this uh, rubber midsole in this uh, white color which will have your normal standard pattern so nothing changed here and this one as usual will also be stitched to the actual shoe and in case you don't already know guys uh, here at the heel section we're gonna have that uh, air sole unit encapsulated which in order to become uh, slightly more uh, comfortable guys uh, you need to wear it for at least a couple of times so now guys we can finish with this uh, red rubber outsole which will have your standard pattern again nothing changed here so this one apparently it's one of the best attractions in the world which is also available on the nike dunks as well so this one will include this uh, circular design here at the top while here in the midfoot you're gonna have your usual nike lettering and also the nike swoosh as in for the actual uh, sizing guys uh, for me as i have with skinny feet uh, for this one i went with a half size down and for me i would say that this one uh, fits me just fine so I would say that if you don't have an issue with this color section guys for normal fit you can just uh, stick with your true to size and just in case you have white fit most definitely you'll need to go with a half size up. So overall guys this is a brand new release for this uh, Jordan 1 uh, low in this uh, varsity red colorway in my opinion has a very nice uh, color blocking for sure it's one of my favorites but unfortunately this one will come at a lower price. Uh, than the OG which uh, unfortunately will also bring uh, inferior materials which for this one will be actually quite stiff and for sure these ones aren't feeling uh, too great on foot and of course by having this uh, extra color section which will be a bit raised than a pair of uh, OGs for sure I feel that this one is actually a bit uncomfortable but if you don't have any issues with these color sections and also with the quality of the materials I would say that this one it's looking good but in my opinion I think you should pay those extra 25 pounds to go to the OG black toe which in my opinion it's using quite good materials and it will feel so much different on foot so yeah guys this was my unboxing reviewing of this brand new release for this jordan one low in this varsity red colorway i really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to press the like button maybe also subscribe to the channel you can also give me a follow on instagram and tiktok to see exactly what i'm gonna review in the next few days of course if you want to see my review on the black toe you can actually choose the video right here but you also have two other options which will appear in a few seconds and as usual, I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.